just go up like that, sir? That's all there is to it. Yeah. I just wanted to show that to you before we sprung it out here. All right. So, all right. So we'll do the greeting, and then you're going to read the site. Now, he's got three daughters. We've got the little charms for each daughter. I'll put those right here. We've got a stick pin for his wife, a tie bar for his son, and, of course, a medallion for Larry Schumann. Where's that? Hi. How are you? Yeah. Let's see. Thank you. Let's see you. It's the Schumann family coming in. The four notes to see if we can introduce them. Oh, Mr. President. Hi. How are you? How are you? Good. Good. Just fine. A little crew here. This is Kathy. Kathy. No, this is Karen. Karen. Kim. 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 Kim Marie. Yes. My wife, Bernadette. Hello. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Well, let's have uh, it. Did we, did you get a single yet, or I mean a double of us? Um, no. Why don't we get a picture? Just, just a stamp okay. a little of us. Okay. Now we okay. ought to have a family group. That's good. There you go. Perfect. How about you maybe come on over there? Okay, great. Thank you. Now I think the major has a little ceremony here. Colonel Lawrence J. Schumann. United States Army, distinguished himself by exceptionally superior service as Commander, White House Communications Agency, from January 1984 to September 1985. Displaying superb leadership skills, he shaped the White House Communications Agency into the finest, most professional communications organization in the Department of Defense. Under his guidance and leadership, quantum improvements were made, and the scope and quality of service provided to the President, the Vice President, the Protective Forces of the SICUS Service, and the senior staffs of both the White House and the National Security Council. The distinctive accomplishments of Colonel Schumann culminate a distinguished career in the service of his country and reflect great credit upon himself, the United States Army, and the Department of Defense. <coughs> Lesson. <laughs> that seal is the seal that's up there. And you notice that the eagle is holding an olive branch for peace and is holding arrows for defense. And the eagle used to look this to the other way toward the claw that was holding the arrows. And after World War II, Harry Truman had it changed so that the eagle is looking at the olive branch for peace. That's fantastic. We'll never forget that. You couldn't change the one on the desk. That, <laughs> that one's old. That was carved in wood. That's still there with him looking at the arrows. At the arrows, <laughs> yes. Mm, well, thank you very much again. Well, listen, thank you. Good luck. Thank you very much. Bye now. Bye. 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 Yeah. Hello there. It's not a few years. Hi. 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 Hi.
Thank you so much for having us, sir. Well, pleased to have you. Where are you going now? I'm going to the uh, National War College over here at uh, Fort Mayor. Oh. And I'm uh, enjoying that very much. So, well, these institutions. It's going to be the chauffeur us up the campaign. <laughs> uh, I remember those weekends very well and, and treasure each one of them that we had. It's really been my honor to have been your pop. Well, this is my name for you I think you will get between us. <laughs> So when you're ready to ride, just let me know. All right. Thank you, Mr. President. Good luck and good health. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Mr. President, Mr. President, thank you so much. Well, this is pretty appreciative. I'm pleased to do it. Why don't you get in the middle here? <laughs> okay. It'd be a prettier picture. <laughs> Don't go too far. You don't have to take a move, but uh, it was quite an honor to be here during your term, and uh, well, really appreciate it. It's a really privileged for me. Well, so. I appreciate all that, all that you do. Thank you very much, sir. Thank, Thank you for your time. I appreciate it very much. Thank you for doing this, Mr. President. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay. All right. Have a good evening, sir. Thank you. Perfectamente. I think you're looking fantastic. Después de que hay seven or eight days rest in the hospital. Pero ocho días de descanso en el hospital. Sit here. You got a minute, sir? Sit right here. Si tiene usted un momento. We only have a... Please. Hello. Prime Minister Don. 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 And I'm sorry about this, only having these few minutes, but uh, we had a long time date with the <laughs> <laughs> So what's of interest to me, what's important to me, is that your long time appointment goes well. <laughs> this will be a great relief to all of us if that goes well. I had a long talk with the Secretary of State yesterday, and that went also very, very well. But I'm so delighted to see that you've recovered totally and you're in such good shape. Oh, I feel fine. Me siento perfectamente. Did you, in all your talks, uh, touch upon 
NATO. Tocaron el tema de la OTAN. Ayer lo tocamos ampliamente. Yesterday we dealt with it at length. Y, y ya sé lo que constituyen los segmentos de preocupación también. Los tocamos con toda franqueza. We really dealt with them with total frankness. En ese momento estábamos en el problema de Medio Oriente. When you came in, we were talking about the Middle East. Nosotros teníamos la percepción que le iba a decir ahora mismo al vicepresidente que eh, quizás sea el mejor momento de los últimos 30 años para hacer algo. Nosotros pensamos que las cosas han llegado a un punto decisivo allá en la región. Yo estaba dispuesto a cambiar el tema de la OTAN y de cómo importante es para el mundo. Yo estaba dispuesto a cambiar el tema de la OTAN porque le iba a decir justamente cuán importante nos parece que ustedes sigan en la OTAN y que sigan con la defensa del occidente. Esa es una decisión de gobierno que ya conocen. Esta es una decisión de gobierno que ya conocen. Esta es una decisión de gobierno que ya conocen. No debe constituir un motivo de preocupación para los aliados. Porque se va a superar ese problema. I'll fill you in, Mr. President. Prime Minister is very helpful on perceptions about Latin America. We had good talk. He's just back from China, and I'll tell you his later on. We can visit after your meetings on that. China is very helpful. Talks with Deng Xiaoping, etc. Yes, I was very, very proud of. And pleased uh, quite some time ago after my visit when uh, you had a visitor from Latin America, publicly corrected a couple of his statements. It was absolutely essential. Porque me parece que hubo un desliz absolutamente intolerable que había que cortar. Seemed to me that he, what he said was an intolerable slip and something that had to be corrected. And you did. Y así lo hizo usted. Fue más duro privadamente que públicamente. And I was tougher in private than I was in public. Como era natural además. As you can well imagine. Lo veo optimista para el encuentro con la Unión Soviética. Espera buenos resultados, presidente. I see that you're looking quite optimistic this morning before your meeting with the Soviets. Do you feel optimistic? Well, I'm I'm usually optimistic. Yo normalmente soy optimista. Es una buena respuesta. That's a good answer. I just feel that this is an opportunity. Me parece que se trata de una oportunidad. The meeting to come with Gorbachev. <laughs> but uh, I feel that the two of us, two nations, uh, I don't think we have to love each other. But we have to live in the world together. And I think my hope is that we can indicate to them that it's to their practical advantage to join in lessening this build-up of arms, reducing it. I have noticed in the allies of Europe a considerable expectation, a great preoccupation. I have noticed that there is a great deal of expectation and some considerable concern on the part of the European allies about this. Well, you've been subjected to pretty good propaganda drive. Y ha habido una campaña propagandística bastante bien, fuerte. Bien, bien usted hecha. ha sido víctima. Bien hecha, And it's bien been done very well, you have to yes. admit. Yes. Si la Así revolución es. tecnológica va por detrás, en la propagandística no. Even if they are behind te in the technological battle with the West, they're not behind in the propaganda war. No, they are. Así es. We'll try to even things up a little. Creo que recibe hoy mismo al secretario de Estado, al ministro de Asuntos Exteriores Soviéticos. It's just today that you're having your meeting with the Soviet Foreign Minister, isn't it? 
Yes. 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 That's why I'm. Es por eso join you in a longer meeting. Es por eso you know? que no tengo no tiempo. Tiempo. Absoluto. I just don't want to hold you up from that meeting. In fact, I'm getting a signal right there. <laughs> 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 Estamos tan bien acompañados que no me dejan fumar ni un pitillo, o sea, ningún I problema. Y ahora que ha llegado Ron, yo creo que peor todavía. Es una liga anti-tabaco ya plena. Estamos tratando de proteger su salud. Well, I will have to move on. Es un gran placer verlo. Es un gran placer verlo. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you all very much. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Now I know.